What's up guys, Marco here, welcome back to another lesson. Today we're going to learn how to play this solo in a reggae style. Now the goal for this lesson is not really just to play a solo in a reggae style, but to actually play a solo using different musical elements. So it could be done in any style, but today I really felt like, you know, reggae was actually nice to play. Now we're going to break down the solo into four different sections. And in each section, we're going to use a different musical element. For example, uh, in the first section, we're going to play the melody with the D major scale. And so the melody sounds like a scale. In the second section, we're going to play the melody in thirds. So we're going to add an additional note to the melody. In the third section, we're going to play our pages. So we're going to spell out the notes of the chords like this. And in the uh, fourth section, we're going to play the D major scale uh, in different positions. So it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Now you can get the tab and the backing track, just check my Patreon page, but you can also stream the backing track on my website, so make sure that you check the link in the description down below. So you can play along with the backing track, but if you want to download it, you should check my Patreon page. Now just a few words about the backing track, uh, we are playing uh, the reggae style in D major, so we're going to be playing the D major, A major, B minor, G major. A and G twice. We are obviously going to be using the D major scale, which is this one D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. So in this first section, we are really just playing the D major scale. So D, E, F sharp, G, and A. Uh, this phrase is played over two chords, the D major and the A major. Then I have two more notes on the B string open and the front number two, and then I change chord and I play. This is B minor and the G major chord. So we are playing um, the B string fret number three, two, three, E string open, fret number two, open, and back to the B string fret number three, two, and open. We then have the last three chords. So I have the D major, and the A major, and the G major. Obviously, I'm playing the bass note just to outline the chords, uh, but you can play it along with the backing track, so you don't have to play like this. You can just play the single note. Now we're going to start uh, with the F sharp on the top E string for number two. Three times, three and five. And then I have this slide on the fret three to the fret number five. And we finish. With this beautiful chord, uh, we have the B string for number two, sorry, for number three, two, three, and then the G string for two, the B string, and the E string open. Now, moving on to the section number two, we're going to play the melody in thirds. So the first phrase is played over the top two strings. And I'm playing two strings simultaneously, the B and the top E string, and I'm playing fret 3 and 2, 5 and 3, 7 and 5, and then I go back. So... And this phrase is entirely played over the D major chord. Now for the A major, I'm playing uh, the uh, B string for number two and the top B string open 
and then 3 and 2 and 5 and 3. Now for the B minor, uh, we're going to be playing... So we are literally starting with the notes of the chords. We are playing the G string fret 4 and the B string fret 3. Then uh, the B string and the top E string with 2 and 0. 3 and 2. Back to 2 and 0. And we go back to 4 and 3 on the G and B string. So... And we finish with the G and B string open right when we play the G major chord. So we are literally playing over the uh, notes of the chords. Then we have... Same thing here guys, I am just playing the D major chord and A major and I will play uh, 3 and 2 3 times then 5 and 3 7 and 5 and when I play the A major I'm gonna play uh, 10 and 9 which are literally the two notes of the A major chord and then I'm gonna slide chromatically back so 10 and 9 9 and 8 and 8 and 7 uh, which is going to end the phrase over the G major chord. Again, just the two notes of the G major chord. So, And then we have two more notes on the E string for number 10, 9 and 10. Now in this third section, we are going to play the arpeggios. So we're going to spell out the notes of the chords. And I'm literally playing the note A, so fret 5, fret 2, fret 3, fret 2, 3, and 2. So I'm playing the D major chord uh, in single notes. Then the A major chord. And I'm literally playing the, you know, just the A major chord, but I am playing the top E string, the B string fret two, and the fret number two on the G string. You wanna make sure that you play it as single notes. Then we have two more notes on the A major chord on the B string fret number three and two. And then we have the B minor chord. and the G major. So we're coming from the A. The last note we played uh, was the fret number two and then we have the fret number three on the B string and then the D string fret number four, G string fret number four, the B string fret number two, three, E string open, two, five, and we finish with the fret number 3, which will be the G major chord. And we literally finish with the root note of the G major chord. Now this B minor sounds beautiful. And the G major chord. Uh, you want to make sure that you uh, play this one as single notes. You don't want it to ring out too much. And then we have the last three chords, the D, the A, and the G. And we're gonna change position and play. So we're still playing uh, the arpeggio, we're only playing two notes. So for the D major, we are playing simultaneously the G string fret 11 and the top E string fret number 10. And then the melody twice more then fret 12, 10, and we finish with the, um, the A major. We are still playing two notes of the chords, uh, the G string and the top E string for number nine, and then chromatically, and then chromatically, we go from nine to eight to um, seven. So,
Now the fourth section is played with a D major scale. We're gonna play different patterns, uh, descending patterns. So it's the scale played uh, three times in uh, different positions. So we're gonna start with the uh, D major scale in this position. So we're playing. And we're really just gonna need uh, the top three strings. So we're gonna start with the fret number 10, 9, 7. And then on the B string, 10, 8, 7. And then fret number 9 and 7. Then we're gonna play the scale like this. We're gonna start from the fret number 9 on the top B string, and then 7. And then we're gonna play the B string fret number 10, 8, 7. And then the G string fret number 9, 7, and 6. So when you combine the two things, so as you can see, we are changing position. We are shifting uh, backwards here. And then the uh, third phrase. So I'm playing uh, the fret number seven and five, and then the fret number eight, seven, and five, and then seven, six, four, and two. And then we finish with the same phrase we learned in the section one. The one with the slide. And then we finish with the three, two, three and slide two fret five. It's a beautiful way to end this solo. You wanna let it ring out and add a little bit of vibrato. So that's it guys. This is how we can play a reggae solo over a backing truck using different musical elements. Make sure that you take it step by step, use the backing truck to play along, and then at some point just use the musical element to write your solos. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'm gonna leave you to practice this. Have a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon.